NASCAR is blowing up at the moment, as after the last race they have handed out a huge amount of penalties, and this has resulted in a huge revolt. Why? Well, it's because everyone surrounding the huge controversy around the playoff drivers have received a penalty after the race. But the playoff drivers? No penalties, except for Bell, who was relegated from the fourth playoff spot, sending William Byron through. But why was everyone involved penalized, except for the playoff drivers themselves? And will this have further consequences this upcoming weekend? After evaluating the strange radio conversations that occurred during the last stretch at Martinsville on Sunday, NASCAR has decided to impose significant penalties, but the Championship 4 remains unaffected. And this caused confusion. So what exactly happened? NASCAR has penalized the number 23-11 racing Toyota of Bubba Wallace, the number 3 Richard Childress Racing Chevrolet of Austin Dillon, and the number 1 Trackhouse Racing Chevrolet of Ross Chastain for what the series considers potential race manipulation after reviewing those teams' radio communications during the Martinsville Cup race on Sunday. All three drivers and teams face the identical penalties, a $100,000 fine, loss of 50 driver and owner points, and one race bans for crew chiefs, spotters, and senior team administrators. The 2311 Racing Team's CEO Dave Rogers, number 23 crew chief Booty Barker, and spotter Freddie Kraft have all been banned. Wallace's points punishment drops him from 17th to 18th in the championship standings. Trackhouse Team Executive Tony Lunders, number 1 crew chief Phil Sergan, and spotter Brandon McReynolds have all been suspended for the championship decider. Chastain's point standing did not change, he stays 19th. RCR Team Executive Keith Rodden, No. 3 Crew Chief Justin Alexander, and spotter Brandon Benish have all been punished for one race. The loss of 50 points has the greatest impact on Dylan, who has dropped from 28th to 33rd in the driver standings. All three teams plan to appeal. 2311 made the following statement, stating that they are aware of the penalty issued by NASCAR resulting from Sunday's race at Martinsville. We feel strongly that we did not commit any violations during Sunday's race, and we will appeal NASCAR's ruling. These sanctions are the result of what happened in the last laps of the round of eight elimination race. As the checkered flag loomed at Martinsville, Christopher Bell was locked a lap down, unable to gain any places. William Byron was at the front but fading with aging tires. Only one point separated them, and Byron had the advantage. Dylan and Chastain created a rolling barrier behind Byron, sprinting side by side but never attempting to pass him. More significantly, they kept anybody else from questioning the number 24. At one point, the number 3 team publicly questioned if the number 1 understood the deal before telling Dylan's crew chief to notify Chastain's crew chief. During this time, Wallace's Toyota was nearly half a lap ahead of Bell. God forbid if we don't help a effing JGR car, he radioed to his teammates. As the situation worsened for Bell, Wallace unexpectedly halted, indicating a suspected tire problem despite later indications from his spotter that all of the tires were completely filled. Wallace's speed fluctuated dramatically, but he stayed on track. On the penultimate lap, he fell over three seconds behind the leader, and Bell caught him in the final bend. Bell had the point he needed, he was in Championship 4, for 27 minutes when NASCAR penalized him for the unintentional wall ride that followed his pass on Wallace. So, following a severe penalty imposed by NASCAR on the teams of Austin Dillon, Ross Chastain, and Bubba Wallace for the finish of Sunday's race at Martinsville, NASCAR made it apparent that driver bans were possible in the future. None of the drivers were suspended this time around. However, Elton Sawyer, NASCAR's senior vice president of competition, stated that this will be considered in future cases of apparent tampering. In this case, we felt like we wanted to focus more on the team leadership, something we haven't done in the past, Sawyer said, according to Fox Sports' Bob Pachris. But I promise you, that does not exclude drivers going forward. And we have meetings coming up this week with our drivers, and we will get that point across to them, and be very clear that when you do anything that's going to compromise the integrity of our sport, we are going to react. As it stands, NASCAR has suspended the crew chief and spotter, as well as one team official, from each of the three teams under investigation. Each team was fined $100,000 and deducted 50 driver points. That is a severe sentence to be sure. However, a driver suspension, which appears to be plausible in the future, would be an even more significant blow across the bow, and it may be required following Sunday's NASCAR Cup Series result. Following the last lap, accusations of teaming and collusion surfaced. On the one side, Chevrolet racers Dylan and Chastain looked to be blocking for fellow Chevy driver William Byron.
Byron was hoping to maintain a tight points lead over Christopher Bell down the stretch, despite his vehicle failing to keep up with the pack. On the other side, Bell appeared to take advantage of a relatively simple overtake on teammate Toyota driver Wallace in the closing lap. Wallace subsequently stated that he felt a tire go down on his lap, which caused his fast slowdown. In the end, a safety violation for riding the wall derailed Bell's night and advanced Byron to the championship four. However, NASCAR is far from free of scandal. The penalties arose from the heated finish at Martinsville in the Cup Series, when race tampering appeared to be at work on numerous fronts. However, at least one NASCAR source is skeptical that the organization's punishments will do anything to prevent such behavior in the future. Not nearly enough to send a firm message or change anything in the future in my opinion, the Athletics' Jeff Gluck tweeted, this will happen again and soon. Nonetheless, the entire event called into doubt the race's integrity. NASCAR issued some hefty fines. Is it stiff enough? That's a question of opinion, and Gluck feels the enforcement was inadequate. The three groups immediately announced preparations to appeal the verdict, which was handed down to drivers Austin Dillon, Ross Chastain, and Bubba Wallace. 2311 Racing, Trackhouse Racing, and Richard Childress Racing will all appeal NASCAR's decision, which penalized each team's crew chief, spotter, and one executive for this weekend's race in Phoenix. Additionally, the teams were fined $100,000 and forfeited 50 driver points. According to Fox Sports' Bob Pockris, NASCAR is likely to speed the appeals process. The appeals will be expedited and likely heard this week, Pockris wrote on Twitter. This might theoretically reverse the sanctions, but it will be up to the organizations to establish there was no breach of the sport's code of conduct. That may be challenging. The penultimate lap saw two drivers jockeying for the final spot in Championship 4, with William Byron holding a tight plus one advantage over Christopher Bell's minus one. Both were pressing the pedal to the metal, hoping to cross the finish line. While Byron lost stream on the field, Bell gained it. That's when the debate began. Dylan's team's radio communications mentioned knowing the deal, and Dylan and teammate Chevrolet driver Chastain looked to block the track behind Byron so he didn't lose any more positions. Byron is also a Chevy driver. On the other side, Bell made a very simple pass on Wallace, who looked to slow down somewhat. Wallace stated after the race that he felt like he had a tire going flat. Nonetheless, it raised concerns about the possible ethics of collaborative teams. As it turned out, Bell got a touch loose in the last turn and rode the wall hard while on the pedal, putting him in position to equal Byron on points and, at least temporarily, secure the final playoff slot. It would not hold, however, as NASCAR assessed a safety penalty for the wall ride, relegating Bell to P22 and handing Byron the pass through to Championship 4 on points. However, three additional teams are also caught up in the confusion and will have to rely on the appeals procedure to get out. Things might also move quickly, if Pockrass's message is any clue. What are your thoughts on this situation? Does it make sense that they're only penalizing non-playoff drivers for this? Or should they have taken a stronger stance on all of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.